So, there she is. Uh, it's actually a log cabin from uh, Dunster House. Really, really recommend them. Um, this, unfortunately, was delivered perfect. Customer service was fantastic, in, but it was delivered in that really, really hot summer. Um, and through, through no fault of theirs, um, we was unable to take the delivery at the time. So um, it had to sit outside on the drive for about a month in that hot weather. And um, to be quite fair, it, 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 you know, it did like warp a few of the boards and things, but um, no, you know, it, uh, it did well. But um, I've modified it a bit, being a joiner. Um, they do do an insulation pack on the roof, um, which sort of, for, for me, makes their fascia, their barge board, as, it, as it's uh, a pitch roof, uh, a little bit small. So um, I've done my own um, sort of like new barge board. I've also um, put um, some, a lead flash in over the top as well which uh, goes over the shing shingles. Um, they were doing free shingles at the time, which is fantastic. Uh, my daughter has done the decal um, on the window. Um, Leicester City won the league in 2016, so that's their doing. I don't mind being ribbed for that. Um, round here, it's a bit messy round here because we've got to develop the garden. Uh, we've got an outside plug socket there. Um, we've got a water pot. We're gonna have um, a trug out here. Nice bit of guttering. Uh, you can see the lead up there. Um, my friend who's an electrician, he's done all the uh, wiring for us, put some lights on. It actually does look really good at, at night. Uh, we've got a ring camera there. Uh, the bunting lights are purely just temporarily put on there um, until I get the decking and all the garden done and I can get them around. So, um, yeah, let's go inside. So here we are inside. Now there would normally be music playing here, but obviously um, with licensing laws and things, I'm sure I'd get in trouble for doing that. So let's have a look over here. So we have got a dartboard up there and that's from the Dart Shack um, in Leicestershire. Um, absolutely fantastic service they provide. Um, it's really warm in here as well. Um, coming from that heater there, it's it, it's great. Um, so yeah, so we've got the we've got the uh, the mat on the floor. Um, we got some film which sort of like makes it a little bit private as well. Um, stop the neighbours looking and getting jealous, although they are invited. Um, the wall's slowly starting to get um, um, you know beer mats and um, um, pump clips on. Uh, we've got a bit of bully there. Look. Uh, my wife was reluctant for me to have that, but uh, I did a bit of sweet talking, and uh, and yeah, and she she gave me that. She let me she let me have that. So yeah, so I had to cut an arch in one of the beams, which I'm sure doesn't um, detract away from any structural element of this um, fantastic cabin. Um, just because I like to get the dartboard at the right height, I'm really fussy about that, and all the uh, levels correct. Um, so yeah, so that was that. Okay, moving on. So here we have the barrel bar. Here at the Spencer Arms. Uh, my daughter has done um, all of the decal um, and I will put um, a link, or she will help me put a link. I'm not very good at all this YouTube video stuff. Now the reason it's called the barrel bar is because there it is. It is made out of old whiskey barrels. Now I have got some photos and I will probably put some photos on at the end of the video. Literally what I did was took the rings off the barrel, the barrel fell to pieces. Now a barrel is circular as you know, so it had to be a curved uh, bar. But because each individual piece of wood is tapered to go in a circular, um, sort of configuration when it comes around to the straight boards they are tapered they're also almost spring loaded so when you take the rings off they all boing about so I've had to literally fit every single one around there so I built the bar put a plywood sort of like curve around it and then um, 
created that. Now the metal work was really difficult to do because it makes a smiley face when you cut the uh, ring uh, in half. So I've had to sort of bend it round. Uh, but yeah, but we've got the original sort of like bung there. And uh, yeah, it's got a lot of people sort of like, uh, in, there's a lot of people impressed by it. Uh, I, I am a carpenter joiner um, and I was gonna build a cabin myself, but it was just too costly. The material was too costly and Dunster House, um, they are very, 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 very good value for money, I think. So yes, so moving on. So coming behind the bar, um, I've got a white fridge. It's a second-hand fridge. It's where I run the uh, beer line into, and we have the um, sort of like the beer in the box, in the bag, in there. I'm not gonna show you all that. It, you've seen it quite a lot. Um, all the other timber is scaffold boards. And uh, it was a place in uh, Northampton, I think. Um, where I got these from. Very, very nice scaffold boards. The work top, the bar top is scaffold boards, curved around there. Now what I've done with this is quite hard to see. If I move this mat, I did them straight and then I made a fan. It has moved a bit now. I don't know whether you see that. So I fanned it around sort of like a dartboard, joined them all together and then went back to the straight. Um, so I'll put that mat back and then we'll continue. So yeah, so that's the bar top. It's got quite a lot of varnish on it, as you'd expect. I've got a little bit there. It's what's on tonight. It's not the Pig and Saint that's on tonight from um, the Potbelly Brewery. That is an awesome beer, gluten-free. It's actually from uh, Leather Bridges but they haven't sent me the pump clip. They're, they're normally absolutely fantastic, <laughs> but for some reason, uh, it's not got sent today. Um, it's not a problem, they'll sort it out. So I've just pulled a little sample. Uh, it's very nice. It's been there a while, so it's gone a bit, it's gone a bit uh, flat. So coming behind the bar, um, got some glass racks here, with various glasses on. There's the hand pull. That's from Pint 365, can you see that? Absolutely excellent beer engine, really good. Um, it's got a non-return valve in there as well, so it, it, it's straight out of the box, dead easy to use, fantastic. I've got a little shelf underneath there where a lot of some beers are kept. Um, some Belgian beers, some local beers uh, from the Langton Brewery, Leather Bridges, Potbelly. Um, so all this covered here with all the various gins and other type of booze. All made from scaffold planks. So I've sort of ripped them down to make the bits on the front. Um, left all the nails exposed. I think it looks quite authentic. I'm a musician, so um, there's a, a bit of a guitar and, well, it's actually, it's like a violin, a cello actually, or something, I don't know. Got a Rubik's Cube up there, which I can actually do. Um, we've got a last order's bell, but look, it just doesn't work. Never, never last orders here. And we have to have a Guinness um, mirror, of course. So, moving away from the bar, all, all these LED lights everywhere, these change into all different colours. You can have them all different colours, loads and loads and loads and loads of colours. We've just got a white at the minute. Uh, it does look a lot better at night. So, obviously, being a musician, bar stools, fender, we are going to have some live music in here. Uh, Takamini, I have a Takamini guitar. Um, so we are going to have some live music in here. I'm going to get some, probably some local musicians around and we'll do some interviews and things. Uh, welcome to Lee and Jane's bar. My name's Lee and my wife's name is Jane. There we are up there. Of course, we've got the telly, sound bar. Got a little shelf, some glasses on. We got some uh, Prosecco glasses with some decal on that my daughter did for our wedding. Now this is very clever and this was my friend's idea. Behind the TV, the sky box is Velcroed to the wall. And we have the plug sockets behind there. Uh, we have actually got a um, power line adapter doing the Wi-Fi at the minute until we've not quite, we, we've got to get the, uh, the main um, cable down for the uh, internet. But uh, yeah, fantastic idea. I mean, you look at the telly and there's no wires anywhere. 
We've got um, a sort of a fake little log burner there, which is quite effective. Uh, coming around here, and it's actually not on. We've waited for a switch. I've got to put an inline switch in there. This is a handmade lighthouse. A great, great friend of ours, hand turned in various different timbers. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful, and it, and obviously it lights up uh, spectacularly um, when it's on. I just forgot to put it on tonight. Uh, you have to take all the cupboards to bits, um, so we're getting a switch. Uh, okay, coming around there, we've just got a shelf, like everything, scaffold, plank, everything. Uh, a great saying, which we should, should all live by, live, laugh, and love. Yeah. So, we'll move on to the bench. Okay, so here we have the bench. Again, <laughs> made out of scaffold boards with uh, plywood panels. Um, these cushions, we've just had these made. Um, and then I can't tag the person um, who's made these for us because um, he just does it in his shed. Um, but like, and he just does it because he loves doing it. Absolutely awesome. They look thin, but believe you me, they are sturdy foam and they really support your weight beautifully. So we've got various cushions along the back. We've got an iPad there that uh, runs the dartboard score and we can run music from that. Lovely little clock. We always have free beer here, but tomorrow only. And there we go. So the last thing I want to show you, so, you know, we've got a few chairs. It's quite, is it contemporary? It's quite contemporary in here. You know, it's not like a sort of like stuff all over the wall like you'd expect in a, um, in some, some, some bars. Um, but it's a lovely place to be. We love it in here. Just to come down, chuck a few darts, have a few beers, have a few drinks. It's fantastic. So last of all, I want to show you my table that I made in the garage. Okay, so it's covered in beer mats. But I've made this out of uh, scaffold planks. Everything's made of scaffold planks. Um, it's only a little tiny table, but um, the inlay is Iroka inlay. Um, and so are the dowels for cover the screws. And so is the uh, rail at the bottom. Solid Iroka, quite a nasty timber really. Very dusty, very horrible, not to be breathed in. Um, but the table's made out of scaffold planks. I routed the grooves out and then had an old windowsill that I cut down and um, and then uh, planed and inlaid the um, the Iroka into the into the table, which is quite nice, quite effective. People tend to think that I bought that and ask me where I bought it from. Well, yes, so there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's not been too long. Uh, the Spencer Arms would be lit up. I've not lit it up. Very easy to do. Everybody can buy these things. Um, and yeah, there you go. So um, enjoy. Hopefully um, I'll put a few photos on of various bits and bobs um, of the process of the build um, afterwards. Okay, so thank you for joining me at the Spencer Arms. Um, I'll put a few photos on at the end. Um, and we've got some guests around tonight, so if they want to uh, be in this video, I'll take a few photos of them, I'll we'll have a chat with them, pop them in. Um, and uh, yeah, just stay safe, uh, drink responsibly, um, sort of don't spill it, um, hold it straight, and uh, you know, try and stand up instead of falling down, things like that. Um, but no, seriously, drink responsibly, have fun and um, live, laugh and love because we need a lot of love um, because it's the best, it's the best thing ever. So, you know, just take care, have a lovely evening and um, yeah, cheers. Cheers, everybody. Okay, so continuing on with the uh, bar tour, we've got some guests. Say hello. 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 <laughs> hello. 
I said I might show them if they don't mind being in. So here we've got the Pint 365 here, the beer engine. It's got the Piggins Saint on because I've not got the right uh, pump clip for this beer. But we have actually got a porter on from the leather britches. So I'm going to pour this pint in here just to show you how good this works. Now you don't have to have a, a bar. This can clamp onto... A lump of wood in your garden if you want. So there you go. I do like a head. If you go to a pub, I'll always say, can you top that up please? But anyway, this is in my lovely jug from the local um, micro pub, the Tap and Barrel, in Wigston, in Leicester. So cheers everybody. So this is my good friend Sean. Here he is. Pleased to meet you. How are you doing? So he's having a lovely pint of um, the Leather Bridges uh, Porter. Is that fully poured? Yes. It is a 5.9% porter. And what was you telling me about Guinness, Sean? It's a lovely pint. You've got to have it not too cold. Yeah. And it's quite thick, so as it goes down the glass. So yeah, yeah. we've been drinking uh, the Leather Bridges Porter, so we're quite oiled, in with Sean, yeah? Oh, just a bit. So anyway, I'm giving Sean the, um, the the 250th anniversary glass, okay? Right. Hi. And he says to me, I love a Guinness, I love a Guinness. Have you ever been doubling? you ever been doubling? I went, oh my God, I've got to show you the... Uh, What's your parrot? The, um, the what, sorry? It is a busy pub tonight Thanks. on the glass because I've still not received my proper glass cleaner, but we are using Guinness glasses here. So Sean, let me show you this. Right, well, this, this is perfect pour. It will be the perfect pour. It That's will. Good, then. So this is the Nitro Surge cap. I have done a separate review. So what we do, these ca these cans have been chilling. Well, they've not been chilling. They've been behind the bar for 24 hours. You cannot disturb these cans. You've got to treat them like they're asleep. So shh. They're not as chilled as me though, mate. No, they ain't, no. Yeah. You're chilled at the Spencer Arms. The oh, cap oh, fits off. fantastic. It's good, isn't it, Sean? And it looks like a penguin. It's like a darling. Take me to your leader. So I'm, I'm going to criticise myself yeah, here. Yeah, you're struggling with the head on that, aren't you? I'm going to criticise myself. I would probably say, yeah, no, like my wife is saying I'm waffling on, but it doesn't matter. People, people love these videos. I'm probably going to say that it's probably a little bit too warm, but who cares? Because I'm going to get a proper dome for you, Sean. Right, oh, I might go for it. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, yes, that'll do, mate. Ooh. Ooh! Look at that! Now, now. Is it spilt? Is it no, spilt? no, it's no, not, has it? It's perfect. not. It's not spilt. So I've had a couple of comments to say that my nitro surge pour is absolutely awesome. Now the thing about Guinness, gi uh, Guinness, <laughs> Guinness. The thing about Guinness is you've got to get that creamy. Yeah, that's head. proper. Look at that. That's proper pint of black stuff. That it's is. black in it. Yeah. But do you, know, do, you, do you know, Sean? Right. This is actually red. Guinness is actually red. Is it? I didn't realise that, but it is actually red. But that is a proper pint of the black stuff. Now that dome, come on, the Spencer Arms, yeah. they give you the proper... I mean, look, I can tilt that. Look. I'm ready. I'm waiting for the white moustache. Right, here. OK. So, Sean, you've got a bit of a moustache, haven't you? Yeah. Now, listen, you've got to get past the G. Ready? So, we have the white moustache. You ready for that? Get it in there. Get it in. Launch it, son. Perfect. How's that? Beautiful. Is that a Dublin Guinness? It is. It's just like being there. <laughs> so it's the morning after the night before, and I just wanted to say, please watch my separate uh, video about the Guinness Nitro uh, Surge cap, uh, because I do get the perfect pour on the perfect head there. The, 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 the beer last night was a little bit too warm, um, and so I am quite uh, particular about it. So um, yeah, the cabin was quite warm, and I think the, it, it was a warm day. So uh, yeah, it had warmed the beer up a little bit too much. That's why I got the really big head, but hey, who don't like a nice creamy Guinness head? <laughs> now also, what I didn't show you here, just to add, under these cushions here, um, you can lift that off and uh, that's all storage underneath there. Underneath there is all storage. You can lift the, 
lift the lids off and then um, you can store whatever you want underneath there. Uh, yes, so thank you for taking the time to uh, watch this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please like and please subscribe to the channel. And I think it's click the notification bell, is it? <laughs> I, I don't do that myself because I just keep checking in on people. But uh, but yeah, and, uh, and please enjoy these few photos um, that I'm going to pop, pop on as well. And I'll see you in the next one.